So I'm just going to show you. This pot is outside on my patio table most of the time. It's an outside pot. I know I'm in the greenhouse, but I've brought them in to show you this. And it is bone dry. I mean, that's what the wind did to it today. And I water everything daily. I don't just talk about it. I actually do. So you can see that's just the wind um, did that to it today. And it was so um, dry. It got light and the um, wind uh blew it away so that's why i thought this would be a good idea to show you so so this is a dry pot and you're going to water it you're probably going to use a hose maybe with something like this attached to it i don't want to do that in my greenhouse so i'm going to mimic what would happen um if you were doing that out in the real world so i'm using my watering can and i have this uh watering can rose on it to kind of mimic what would happen so you'd water it like that and you think oh that's now that's great it's getting a great soak but it's not. There's, it'll still be bone dry. And all the water is running out of it because it's so dry that it can't absorb it. So you have two choices with that now. You can either do it bit by bit, pour in a bit and let it see that now, pull away the leaves, let it soak into the soil and wait and do another bit. But I mean, this is called the busy woman's garden. I don't have time for this, carry on. So what I do is I will put it standard. If it's gone as dry as that, you need to either do that or go round them in a rota and do a little bit and a little bit and a little bit or else put them in that. But you're wasting your time spraying the flowers themselves. It's a total waste of time. You might think you're doing it quick, but you might as well not bother your head. So that's what I will do with that is actually pour a little bit of it. That's the pot I usually keep it in um, to make it look kind of pretty on the patio table. I'll pour a bit of water into that and leave it in it. Now they'll tell you not to leave plants standing in water forever but like I mean I'm not going to fill it up to the top like I'm going to put a centimetre or something of water in it and the soil will soak it up because don't forget it's the roots that need the water not the leaves. It's no good to the to the roots to the, to the leaves really and like that's where the roots are. They're not they're not there's not hardly any roots up there so you can see look at this is totally bone dry even with me soaking it in um so the poor little plant and look they'll bounce back but if you keep stressing your plant out not giving it enough water you, you won't get them looking as gorgeous as they might so what i'm going to do is put that in that and leave it to stand overnight and it'll be grand um I thought I'd show you another one. So here's another one. And I don't normally do this to my plants. This one is taking one for the team. So um, just to show you, these are little antirrhinum um, seedlings that I was growing. They're a bit late. So I don't think these are going to work out. So I don't really mind. But just to show you. So you think, oh, look at that. It's awful dry. I'll give it a load of water. Look what happens. Like none of the water is going into the plant. The plant is just as dry as it was before you started. Your only hope is to leave it in it and hope it soaks up some and comes back. So I'm going to leave this as a little trial. I'm going to um, see if this will work for this plant and if I can get them to bounce back. So I'll do you an update in a couple of days. What I'm going to do is let them soak, let them get really wet and heavy. And you'll know by the weight of the pot whether it's if, if it's too light. So I'm going to let it soak and let it get really heavy and um, then I'm going to transplant them into their own separate pots and see if I can get them to come around and actually produce a few flowers. Um, I planted them late. I look at I've done made a pure hames of these so that, that we, it, it, it mightn't work but the, you never know. It's worth the try. So the same with these. These are little sedums that I propagated from another plant I have. So basically this plant I have um creates little baby plants all the time so it's a great way of getting some freebies but the leaves on it like they they, they actually send the water away from the plant so you definitely need to um watch what you're doing with that so what i'm saying to you really is if you're using a hose be careful that you're either not using that on the spray thing or you, you know you take it off altogether and actually just use the hose itself or you use watering cans. I use watering cans because I really don't think you, it's any slower and you get, um, you know, you get as much of a good, you get a better watering for the amount of time you're spending. But look, lugging around watering cans isn't for everybody. I totally get it. The other thing is I love this little fella, right? And I know it looks like a kid's watering can, but it's the long spout and it is deadly. You can get it to go into anything without too much hassle so oh, can you see that there you can yeah um so i can get it to go in there and i'm not getting any water on the leaves and apart from the fact that the leaves don't are no you know don't really benefit so much from the water well these kind of plants don't anyway um 
the water on the plants uh, can be uh, can cause scorching in summer so <laughs> we haven't had to worry about the bright sunshine this year so far but you know I remain hopeful and don't say I didn't warn you that um, if you get it on them you'll see the leaves will go yellow and kind of burnt uh, the sun the, it's like the water attracts it you know yourself when you're in the swimming pool and out on holidays uh, when we used to have holidays <laughs> um, that you'd get sunburnt more in the water so the same thing happens to plant leaves so you, you just have to protect them a little bit and try and keep them dry so if you can try and do your watering in the morning or the evening if you have a choice um, because it'll not be as warm and the water won't evaporate as quickly and the the plant has a bit of a chance to um, to soak it in and get the benefit of it so you kind of you're trying to work smarter not harder with all of this because i know you're all up to your eyeballs and have more to be doing than going around watering plants um all the time and actually i just see something which i haven't planned to talk about and i have only allowed house episode to discuss uh this guy is laying seeds here so you can might be able to see them i'll lift it up so it it's can that be seen i don't know so it's having seeds so i'm going to uh, try and collect them and i'll propagate them my little girl uh, did a great job on these last year and i think these ones came from plants she propagated from collecting seeds from their parent plants so um that's another thing we can do if you have people who have more time but that's time consuming and you don't have to at the end of the day you get a packet of 12 violas inside in Lidl or tesco for 1.99 and unless you get a bit of crack out of growing your own ones um it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense so i think that's my watering story more or less told to you there isn't a huge amount more to it than that um as i say if you've if the, you've let them go too far put them standing in the water not forever for you know a few hours maybe overnight nothing more than that because the roots don't want to get um too waterlogged either and um if you're using one of these or the rose on your watering can really and truly i think they're only suitable for seedlings if you're trying to grow something by seed out in the um out in the ground because a jet of water out of the watering can will spread the seeds all over the place on you and make a hames of it um otherwise just do something with the spout that will give it a, a, a gentle water that you can direct the water to get to the soil and then to the roots rather than to the leaves and that is about all i have to say on that so i'll switch back up here now look my multi-camera situation here guys it's getting high tech so um i hope you all enjoyed that and i will talk to you all have a great weekend and let's hope that the weather picks up a bit bye bye